Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will talk about how you can restore a database to a new location or with a new name. So before we proceed ahead with the video, uh, I would request you guys to please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button which is appearing just below this video. Hit on the subscribe button, a bell icon will appear, click on that bell icon, select all notifications to get all notifications regarding all my future videos. Before we proceed ahead, I would like uh, to discuss some of the important points. So I would request you guys to watch videos till the end to gain better clarity of the concept. If possible, watch the video twice to gain more clarity. And do exercises in your lab environment with test databases, whatever uh, exercises I am performing in my lab. You may mimic the same in your lab environment with test databases. And we would like to know your thoughts and your stories regarding any real situations where you have practically used my videos. And we would like to know your comments as well regarding any certain topics for us to prepare video on videos on. So yeah, please leave in your comments. Uh, so now let's go back to a topic which is how you can restore a database to a new location. Let's go to my notes quickly. So this is the demo we are doing right now. So there is no theoretical stuff. Uh, let's straightforward jump to a demo. So I've just opened the SQL Server Management Studio. So we will tell you how to perform the we store a database to a new location or with a new name. I'm waiting for SQL to open. Uh, let me see. So SSMS is the file. I'm not sure whether it's invoked or not. Let me invoke it again quickly. I've just invoked it. So hopefully it should uh, open within a minute or so. Let's see whether we have SSMS file. Yeah, it's invoked. So right now SQL Server is opening up and once it is opened, we'll connect to the appropriate instance of SQL Server. So guys, uh, SQL Server is open. Let me connect to the instance, which is the default instance. The sample database we are using here is the Northwind database. Uh, you may have watched my one of the videos on how you can install the Northwind database. You can find within my playlist. So right now I'm working with Northwind database. So I had created a, my Northwind database earlier. So for now, let's drop this database. So let's go ahead and delete this database. Close any existing connection and drop the database. All right, so right now we have Northwind database. So what we'll do, we, we will right click on the databases. Uh, what we are doing, we are taking no backup of the Northwind database. My backup is already there, so I can check on that. Otherwise backup is required to be taken. So if I go to C drive, uh, let's check C drive, program files. Microsoft SQL Server, your instance, MS SQL folder, backup. So we have two backups, uh, transaction log backups. Uh, this is another transaction log backup, and this is the full database backup. So we will use, uh, in case it uh, backups are required, we will use one of these files. You may watch uh, some of my other videos to which will tell you how you can take backups inside SQL Server for transaction logs and the uh, full database backups as well. So we have backup syntax and we have a database here. We are right clicking on database. So what we are doing here is we are restoring a Northwind database to a new database name. We can do it directly from the database itself, but uh, I'm doing it from the backup file. So let's restore a full database backup of Northwind under a different name, which is my Northwind. So right click on the database, uh, select the option restore database. Now let's discuss some of the options. So here you can select the database option Northwind, but we are not choosing this option. We are restoring it from a device. So I need to select a file, the database backup file. So this is the one we, um, we are using, Northwind back, which is the full database backup. You can select the file, you can view its content as well over here. It contains the full backup. So we want to restore it till that point uh, under a different database name. So let's select OK. It will show you the definition uh, of the various backups available within that uh, particular file. So full backup is only available. I want to uh, 
restore this backup under my northwind database so i will type the name of the new database over here and let's explore the other options uh, go to files show now it shows us the file where it's going to restore the file so it is showing the original file name but that doesn't make any sense because uh, we are restoring it from the database backup file so no changes are required here but yeah the, the, we are change, going to change the restore as location so let's change the restore as location so i'm gonna restore it at, i've made a folder on the c drive so which is uh, my northwind i will restore it here i can show you that folder as well before i proceed on this so c drive uh, my northwind is a folder right now nothing is in there so let's select that folder and name of the file from the primary database file will be my northwind dot mdf uh, mdf is the extension from uh, for primary data file so i'm selecting that and for log as well i'm going to change the location as well as the name so again my northwind dot ldf is the log data file so i'm naming it as ldf so this is log this is above that uh, there is rows data so rows and log i've uh, renamed the destination location to point to a different location now uh, go to the options tab so here we don't require tail log backup because we we are not restoring it from the database but instead restoring it from a database backup file so the in this option is not required here and we are restoring it with recovery so f database will be fully recovered once we restore it and uh, we don't want to uh, close any existing connection because we are not using a database so everything is quite okay let's take a backup quickly not a backup but uh, a restore so northwind database is restored under my northwind let's check so here we see we have a database we have certain tables this is the exact replica of that northwind database uh, when the full database was uh, backup was taken so right now it's uh, restored under a different name we can check out certain tables as well under this So yeah, this is the exact re replica of that Northwind database. So database is now created. Now, I've shown you how you can do this using the SQL via the SQL Server Management Studio. Now let me show you how you can use the T-SQL statement to perform the same task. Let me go ahead and remove this database once again. So you see the files are created, the MDF and the LDF are created here, but uh, once we drop this database, these files will get removed. So I'm right clicking on this new database and I'm closing a existing connection, dropping this database off uh, from the system. And this will uh, actually delete the physical files as, as well as you can see inside this folder, no files are present uh, right now. Now, what we'll do, we will create a new database, a uh, new query, sorry. And you need to select a master database. You need to be in the master database to perform any uh, resource. So first of all, I would like to check what all file lists are available under certain backup files. So what I will need to do, I need to type this command, restore file list only. So it doesn't do actually a restore operation, but it only lists the file sets available within a particular database. So let me specify from disk and uh, let's specify the backup location. So let me go there quickly. So this is the backup location and I want to see what all backups are available, uh, what all files are available under northwind.back file. So that list of the primary data file and the log data file. So this is the statement, restore file list only from this. I can execute it. Uh, I need to specify the name of the file as well, which is uh, northwind.bak. Uh, let's uh, make this window a little larger. Now it's okay, uh, let's execute it. So it will show us the files list. So under that Northwind back database, which is the full database backup of the Northwind database, uh, it contains two files, which is the, uh, one is the primary data file and another one is the log file. So once I restore this file, both the primary data file and the log data file will get restored. Now I just got the file list. Now I know what to be, what is to be restored. So I'm restoring a database, basically creating a new database. Which, which will the name my northwind i'm creating another different name my northwind and from we need to specify the name of the database backup which is this i can copy it out here so 
make a copy of it and then specify the clauses we want to fully recover the database so we are specifying with recovery and along with that I am specifying additional options because I want to move the original files which are these two files to a separate location so I need to specify the logical name move northwind northwind is the logical name for that uh, primary data file this, this is the logical name for the primary data file and uh, I'm moving it to let's specify the location so let's move it to the folder which I've created so I had created a folder on C drive which is C drive my northwind is the folder let's create it there my northwind and under that you need to specify the name of the file so primary uh, this is the data file so I will mark it as my northwind dot mdf so this is the first clause uh, give a comma and specify a second option which is to move the log data file this is the logical name you can specify that to you can specify the same location but uh, here you need to change the file name so comma can be removed but yeah this time it will be LDF because it's a log data file so let's execute this statement so this statement will restore the database backup which is of Northwind under a new database name my Northwind and the files are also moved during this operation to this locations so executed it so query is complete right now if I refresh the database list uh, the database should be there so my Northwind is restored so this is the com result of command completion so yeah new database is created my Northwind so in this video we have shown you how you can restore a database under a different name or under uh, or place the, uh, the database backup files under a different location using the restore statements uh, we have shown it to you how you can do perform this operation via SQL Server Management Studio and how you can perform the similar operation via T SQL syntax so I guys I hope you like this video if you really like it please hit on the like button and do share this video with your friends click on the subscribe button below this video and hit on the bell icon and select all notifications to get all notifications regarding my future videos and we would love to hear your comments so do post your comments regarding uh, what videos do you like or you may mention the topics uh, in which you want me to make the videos and also share your stories regarding any practical situations where you were where the information mentioned in my videos was useful for you useful to you share your stories thank you guys thank you once again for your time on this video have a nice day